Good day, fellas. I hope you are doing very, very well. Hello. Hello. Uh, guys, today we are going to have a conversation about the hotel which we picked and what we was doing uh, and why we went this way in uh, Corfu Island. So first of all, I can tell you one thing. It is not very often when we are going somewhere for vacation. So uh, speaking about the hotel, we went with... Um, uh, the name. The name. The name, is, <laughs> <laughs> the name is Greek Hotel Imperial Hotel. I think, I believe this is as close as it was. It is not a secret we paid approximately 5 grand to 5.5 grand for the hotel in euros. In dollars it would be around 7,000 dollars. Here we go. Quick thing, the reviews of the hotel were the best and overall hotel was very very nice and everything was uh, fine about it. Uh, but I can tell you one thing for travelers out there, if you are planning to travel for majority of the time, I would highly recommend to go with a cheaper hotel and simply spend uh, uh, more time out because this is the best experience in a way. Would you agree, honey? Yeah, in general, if we would need to answer the question why did we choose this particular hotel in a way we wanted to choose something more expensive because we didn't plan to travel a lot mm. and we since a skill set we don't go to vacations in general too often we just wanted to have you know this one week when we can actually have high standards high quality so we chose something that was uh, expensive but at the same time obviously it was like the best rated hotel probably in Corfu if I'm not mistaken so that was that was like the main reason but at the same time we compared obviously other options we saw other, we saw other options of hotels and this one just looked the best talking about the design but also obviously the most important about location and the views around our mountains and it's very 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 nice uh, this hotel also had like spots on the beach that were reserved for people that rented some special uh, houses because in this hotel you have the main building with rooms as you can imagine hotel but you also have bungalows you have some kind of other type of houses and some of those houses have private pools and in a way private piece of the beach in other words uh, if you are paying extra grand or so you are going to get it is it worth it hell no although to be fair with you when we was looking into the the thing is, when we went for vacations, it was extremely hot, very, very, very hot. And I even said for my girl, yes. we are going to cook alive. So imagine situation, you are taking a shower, you are going out three minutes, you are wet from the, uh, from your hair to the toes. Uh, this is how it is looking like. So if you are considering going to this place, uh, I would highly recommend to take uh, uh, the room with a pool so at least you can swim there and just simply relax and take it easy, especially if you have kinders yourself, this could be very, very nice. So yeah. Mm, room experience. Okay. Um, honey, what first of all you thought when you entered the room? Oh, boys, oh boys. Hi there. <laughs> Look who is that. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Okay. Um, sweet TV, bed, everything. Beautiful. Some lights, some chill area with some fruits, I assume. Oh, yes, indeed. And a bloody view to die for, I, I think. Look at this, fellas. Look at this. That's absolutely amazing. Very, very, 
very nice also one of the most important things which i forgot to show fellas and you might wonder skill what did you forgot to show i forgot to show the toilet because this is the most important thing and this is where i am going to spend the most time since i'm going to eat so much it is madness okay wow this is looking fancy and this is looking beautiful very very nice okay fellas see you soon to be fair with you first i had two thoughts at the beginning first thought was it looks very nice the design the materials everything is nice but also the second thought is it's quite small yeah it was like 20 square meters or something maybe 25 maximum uh but you are having a balcony and everything but when you are uh, uh paying quite a big money for the hotel uh maybe this is uh, this is kind of a bit of the disappointing thing plus on top of that which i really want to add is uh, uh we had some issues with a shower at first and shower wasn't working honestly uh and fellas i'm not special guy i know how to click the bloody button and shower is working and the thing is the funniest thing of all this we called for registration uh, and uh, they said sure thing we are going to help you instantly uh, but then it took approximately one hour so I needed to call for my local guide so local guide called for a hotel and then the uh, member of the staff came to fix it and you know what was the funniest thing he did and he fixed it I don't know uh, I was feeling like a special guy after this I was feeling like one of my eyes looking to the left one of the eyes looking to the right but that's experience and I, I am not here to bullshit you I'm here to say uh, my opinion also honey how did you enjoy the lizard in the room <laughs> yeah we had a, we had one moment I think it was the last night mm -hmm. it was the last night uh, when we came back to the room quite late you know it was the last night so we have a, had a good dinner and we stayed out a bit and we came back to the room when it was quite late and what we found be, like behind our bed or above our bed was a lizard that was running very fast on the wall and in the end in the end it hid it in the ac so actually we, we slept with the laser in the room and we had to accept that there was no way to get rid of it i was trying to catch it but that mother tracker was quick okay that mother tracker was quick also one more thing to say about the room um overall it was very very clean this is very important thing towers was changed daily which is super important thing for a lot of people right uh in overall hygiene was a uh, high class uh one more thing which i would say is uh, we stayed not in the main building we stayed in the in the bungalow in the bungalow or however to say this properly and the thing is you had an option to get the pool for yourself uh, and this option was extra like 500 dollars or something or 500 euros uh, for a one week and uh, I would highly recommend to do so and the main reason why because the climate of the uh, Corfu Island at least when we was in the middle of the summer it was extremely extremely hot and uh, sometimes you just want to chill and do F all right because in the beach it is way too hot so what you are doing you can go into the pool and if you are going to this place don't cheap out and take the room with the pool honestly. Yeah, the thing is that you are already you already pay a lot for the room in the first place when you when you decide to go to that hotel so we already paid quite a lot for the room in this bungalow and then you can see that if you would add 500 more which comparing to the whole cost is not 10% like that much you would have so much better conditions I yes uh, the thing is the whole price of the all included and everything was around five grand if I'm not mistaken uh, so it is very very expensive place and once again we wanted to go for the uh, luxurious options because we are not traveling that much and when we have that one week in a year to chill and to relax we wanted to get a good food and uh, extremely good conditions that's why we went for this all Although, to be completely fair with you, uh, if I would go the second time uh, to this beautiful island, I would take a cheaper hotel and I would eat out and probably it would be a better option, honestly. Yeah, but it depends on your like goal. What do you want to do? If you want to stay in hotel, eat all-inclusive, drink all-inclusive and lay on the beach, you can go to the more expensive hotel. But if you are up for traveling, if you want to rent a car or whatever, rent a boat and go somewhere, 
and then it's just smarter to take something cheaper because you're not spending that much time inside the hotel. The thing is, it was feeling like ways to rent the car and to go away and to leave all food, all uh, uh, abilities which we have inside, and it was feeling like a waste. Uh, this is the this is the thing. But either way, uh, it is how it is, and we are not complaining. Speaking about the hotel, our experience was uh, very very good. Agree? Agree. Very nice. Let's speak about the views. Honey, start the, our journey. The views in the hotel, as we actually mentioned also before, were stunning. In general, Corfu is an amazing uh, island with the mountains, it's very green. So basically you are laying on the beach, you have beautiful uh, blue water and in the, in the back you can see the green mountains and uh, it, was, it was really stunning um, view to wake up and see that all the time. Uh, speaking about the views of the hotel, what we uh, have seen there, Speaking about the activities, beaches and everything, three beaches like we mentioned it before, which is very, very nice and you have a choice, yep. although you need to start, you need to book uh, the place kind of early because if the uh, hotel is working on the full volume, I believe you won't find the seat for yourself. Yeah, one thing, as we said before, but I want to highlight it, private beaches, so you cannot meet anyone from the outside of the hotel. And the second thing, uh, um, like regarding the how calm it was, I think we were discussing that it was like 50% of the of the guests in the hotel. Mm -hmm. So we know that this place can be full, like it oh, can yes. be really full. But when we went, were there, it was like 50, maybe 60% in the mm -hmm. end in the last days of the possibility of the hotel talking about the amount of the guests so it was quite calm and in general you don't you cannot you cannot meet there like disco mute loud music and so on in general usually in the evenings there were some musicians with like piano or guitar and it was a very calm relaxing atmosphere and people just could have a drink and chill it was or never saxophone. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it was never very loud. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, now speaking about activities, what kind of activities you can do? Honestly, there was no such a thing as activity um, in the pool. Like uh, you can see there is like, overall, I think there was no animators, which was pretty damn weird. And usually whenever you are going to whatever hotel, especially bigger scale hotel, there is usually shit enough activity. Uh, but one thing to mention here, uh, we went uh, in the middle of the summer and we still had some cases of the virus so maybe that's why everything is uh, a bit uh, quieter and everything is postponed overall there was a gym uh, and obviously spa and the highlight of all this they uh, they had a very nice market where you could buy yourself trousers for 50 euros or a hat for 150 euros we went outside um, to get ourselves hat and to meet with uh, uh, extremely nice people and and uh, we figured out that the same hat uh, outside the city costs 5 euros if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they have like 30, they are charging 30%, uh, 30 times more. So keep this in mind. Uh, obviously, if you if you are counting your budget, don't, don't buy that for obvious reasons, right? And it's important yeah, to say. Yeah, I mean, in general, this is like a fancy hotel. So what goes with that is that the prices are very, very high. It's... I mean, there are rich people there, right? Oh, yes. So, um, so you, you can expect that the price of the hotel, all of the slippers that we were checking, it's insane amount of the money. Just if you need some, if you forgot to take something, you need to buy something, take a taxi, go to the to the nearest bazaar or whatever there is and, and buy it there. And you will have better experience, plus you will save money, 100%. One more thing which we need to say, water slides, uh, and water attractions is there uh, prices are quite high i would say but once again i'm not uh, i'm not entirely sure because i'm not working in this uh, in this area but it was looking quite high although the staff there was absolutely amazing and it was a pleasure to speak with the, with them although uh, it is not belonging to hotel it is belonging kind of to government so they are renting that from the government i had a conversation with them and that's what we figured out so yeah big fat thumbs up for those people they were absolutely Absolutely amazing. That's it? That's it. That's it! Mm, food fellas. Uh, this is the topic which I really like to talk about. Um, how everything was looking like. So pretty much there is a main dining room where you are going to eat uh, three times a day, breakfast, dinner, uh, and... Uh I think it was called breakfast, lunch and dinner, but basically you can call it however you want. Some people may say in the evening you are eating supper, but... It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and uh, everything was actually fine. The, the diversity which you had over meals, it was absolutely nuts and it was crazy, honestly. Every single time you are getting whatever salads, eggs, uh, sausages, everything what you could ever need. Uh, so food overall was solid banana out of 10. We haven't seen how they made the food apart uh, pizzas. Uh, we have seen the pizza oven and we were cooking there. But overall, um, stuff is extremely helpful and it is just pleasure to eat there and to be there although olives which you are a big fan of olives olives we are quite weak <laughs> yeah comparing we we had a chance to eat outside the hotel like twice and every time the olives were better outside i don't know why why what is the reason of that but in general i would say the olives in the hotel were not the best but food in general was 
great there and also if you would look at the opinions on the google or whatever people always say that food is like the one of the of the best points of the hotel because it's really good quality and also you have a lot of choice of different things on the breakfast time on the dinner time wherever you are going what i also think is important to say that that the staff working in the restaurant was also um, very had like very professional attitude which means there was a manager of the restaurant that was always there and there were girls um that always like like stayed in the entrance they were welcoming guests and they were directing them to the tables so you had like the like the whole system of the staff working there and it felt very very professional and in the same time we need to mention this we was uh, on the virus times night we were in the middle of the summer so you need to wear the gloves you need to wear the mask for obvious reasons and this is very very important thing to highlight also speaking about the staff uh, depends which staff uh, member is um, serving you for a drinks there we are uh, people which were speaking easily russian language german language english language uh, whatever spanish language so keep this in mind uh, uh, speaking about the language diversity it is huge and i believe you can uh, you can even ask to get the staff member which is speaking your native language which is very important yeah and i think it's important also to highlight how we um how we were able to take the food for ourselves because i know from um, experience of other people that in the COVID times in hotels usually you didn't have an ability to take the food yourself from the plates but majority of the hotels changed the system and they were serving so basically you were ordering whatever fish and they were bringing it that they were bringing it to your to your table in here the solution was um i think more comfortable for and also like more enjoyable for the guests so you could actually take whatever you want from everything that was outside but important thing is you needed to wear gloves so in that in that way Mm, hotel uh, like protected uh, itself from spreading the virus or and uh, and obviously mask uh, but in the same time we have seen some people which was thinking i paid the price so i don't give a flying gift like a russian oligarch gold chain slippers uh, bloody Hawaii t-shirts and tuk, 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 going without anything but you know it depends on the people co culture and uh, it was looking quite funny you know um, by the looks of it rules are not for everyone okay let's go Speaking about a registration, fellas, I would say experience was uh, smooth as a hot knife through the butter. Uh, everything was very, very nice. We came out of the bus. Uh, there was a staff which took the luggage, uh, which was keeping an eye on it while we was registrating. And uh, overall, it was very, very nice experience. I would rate it solid six stars out of six stars. Mm -hmm. How about you, honey? Yeah, we were welcomed immediately, but by a girl working there and she immediately introduced us to the hotel area she told us where to find the main dining room and so on and so on she showed us the application that the hotel has that has a map of the hotel that helps you to for example make a registration for a for restaurant the restaurant table carte yes indeed <laughs> so uh, so she she introduced us very fast and in a very very kind way in, and in general during the whole stay staff was extremely kind extremely helpful any anytime we had some kind of issue we we basically got uh, help Absolutely. So experience uh, um, speaking about the registration was absolutely excellent. One more thing which we forgot to mention uh, experience in Alicarte restaurants. The thing is some there we are like I think six or seven Alicarte restaurants and pretty much they are created to make you pay more uh, for everything and this is like the chain how you can make your customers to spend more. Honestly in majority of the places we visited like three uh, places if I'm not mistaken or two places and I can tell you one thing it wasn't really worth the price apart the fish place. Fish place was actually okay but even then uh, thinking about the price which you 
are paying, it's so much better to go outside somewhere of the hotel, get a taxi for yourself, go to whatever great place to eat and come back, it's going to be cheaper, you will have better food and you are going to have better experience. I'm not saying it is bad, I am saying it is quite a bit of money for your buck. I agree, the, the restaurants from the Alicarta were expensive uh, and some of them were not great. Also, for example, I think we can say that the that, uh, pasta, place. pasta place wasn't wasn't amazing. Imagine situation, I apologize. Imagine situation, you can get a spaghetti in the main uh, dining room where you're not paying a single penny and you can pay for pasta 15 euros and you are getting shitter uh, quality. Yeah, absolutely. In general, uh, if you are ever going to be in this hotel, take spaghetti from the main dining restaurant because it's absolutely amazing and I think one more thing that I would say is a kind of bad thing about the hotel and we were very surprised about mm, that ice creams ice creams there is a place in the hotel where you can get an ice cream and you know when you're paying all-inclusive you are kind of expecting to have ice cream which is like so ba such a basic product on the vacation time for free in all-inclusive um, package but it occurred that we we actually paid for every every Super. ice cream we bought every scoop like two euros or three euros for a scoop i mean come on get get your shit together uh, when we are thinking about this fellas i mean how much the big box of the ice cream cost you can go to the market and you can buy it for what five no ten euros maximum right humongous plate and charging for one scoop two three euros come on i mean for uh, from a uh, people which bought uh, everything uh, uh, or uh, for people which get the maximum package inclusive this is this is just low uh and uh, i mean i can imagine it can be uh, quite a bit of the problem for for some people especially if you have kinder and kinder's like size cream cream right so running uh, three four times a day and after that getting a humongous bill i mean come on this is this is not nice from hotel yeah but one important thing also and we uh, got that information from the staff is that this year uh, when we when we went to the hotel it mm. was the first year when they had all-inclusive package at, in general so what that means that means um this is obviously the first year and they never had this experience so people who just coming here they're paying for everything um, food, um, a la carte, not a la carte, ice creams and everything else. So this is important thing to mention too. Yeah, so probably they are kind of crawling and they are trying to find a way how to do it the best. So maybe it was just a mistake and they didn't think maybe of that, that the ice cream place should be also included into all inclusive package. But we'll see, maybe maybe in the next years it will change, maybe not. But this is, but this is worth thing to mention and... Um, Sometimes you need to save the money, fellas. As simple as this. All right. Mm, would you recommend this hotel? Uh, I can tell you one very, very simple thing, fellas. If you don't want to go outside, explore, and just to say, I, I, I was in uh, Greece, I was in Corfu Island, uh, sure thing. But if you are planning to travel yourself, um, I would highly suggest and recommend you to pick the different place where everything is more budget way to have a bed uh, or maybe Airbnb or however to say this properly uh, and uh, you are going to save the money and you will have better time. If you want to stay in the hotel and get services to the maximum for example you are laying on the um, beach uh, you are asking for a person to bring you espresso water coffee ice creams uh, and the person is doing that in uh, five minutes of time then this place is absolutely amazing but uh, it is very very expensive honestly it is the most expensive hotel i've ever been yeah absolutely uh, same for me 
uh, the services that you can get ex ex except what skill set is for example you can even order uh, a floating breakfast in your private pool in your in your house so that you rent it so basically you can really go very high uh, with the quality i mean if you want you can you can just follow the greek hotel imperial hotel on the instagram and you can see those services on their profile i mean it's crazy how um what kind of services you can get but it's very high quality if you have money for that if you can afford that if you want to experience those kind of things then it's amazing uh, if you are planning to stay in a hotel one more thing there was another place where you can pretty much rent for yourself uh, which had twice bigger price it was like 10 grand for one week euros and you are having your private pool you are having way more space for yourself and that place is located next to the main dining room uh, down there uh, and i believe you remember this so yeah this is very important thing so you can go nuts you can uh, get yourself a hat for 200 euros and you can get yourself a uh, simple slippers for 50 euros so yeah yeah, and I think to finish the, the whole summary, if we could point like the best things about the hotel, for me, it would be for sure location and for sure food in the hotel. I think food was absolutely amazing. The staff, especially uh, which was working uh, in the dining room, it was absolutely amazing. And one more thing which I want to say, which wasn't amazing for her, it was completely fine for me. Boss! yeah we actually like forgot to mention that before talking about the dining room and it may be a huge thing for some people uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh in the hot in the hotel like garden next to the dining room there is massive amount of the wasps we had br especially at the breakfast time i don't know why it was like that but especially at the breakfast time we could actually see like 15 wasps next to one table people even like developed strategies how to handle the wasps and what people were, were doing they were taking extra ham extra salami bacon bacon they they were putting that on the separate plate and somewhere like in the distance from their table so the wasps could actually go there and not disturb them that much so this is for me it was a disadvantage it oh. was annoying sometimes i could get my my mood to the bottom in the beginning of the day at the breakfast because it was just very annoying so i had a great time i was one wasp, other wasp, <laughs> third wasp. It was absolutely amazing. So yeah, uh, I hope you had a great time, fellas, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This is something new for our community, which is uh, following us from the gaming section. And uh, I hope there is some new people which was watching this video and which is thinking, uh, is it worth to go to hotel? So yeah. Have a good one. Enjoy yourselves. See you guys and thank you for watching. You have a lovely day. Bye bye.